Village yeah. side, fire. Okay. okay. Village side, we fight. The village drive by. He's seeking hard stuff. It's can't escape if I try the depths. Covered by creatures, side wind through the valley of unfortunate souls. But here we go. Uh, village side, we fight. The village drive by. He's seeking hard stuff. It's can't escape if I try the Hello guys, welcome to the Tokyo Diaries. So we are in Tokyo, we got the train from Kyoto to Tokyo yesterday and um, we just had a chill day. I think we're super exhausted from Kyoto because we've been walking so many steps and just been doing so much every single day. Um, so yesterday was good to kind of just chill, we had a nice lunch, we just went to this really local um, mall that's near our hotel which was amazing. This hotel is also amazing, we're staying at the Okura. So what are we doing today? We are... Gonna go to Shibuya. No, we're going to Ginza, I think. Oh, we're going to Ginza Let's first. Let's go Ginza because okay. Nuri has run out of outfits. No, true, does it? <laughs> so no, I haven't run out of outfits. Shopping. I just want to have a look. I want to go to some cool like Japanese brands and see some bits. Also, their designer stores. Some designer stores have Asia More exclusives. Mm. Yeah, they have exclusive pieces just to those stores. So it'll be good to see. And obviously, Tokyo is the place to go shopping. That's the plan for today, and we will bring you guys along. And this is the gorgeous view that I will not get over. And there's the Tokyo Tower. How crazy. Yesterday I was just sitting there and I was like, I literally shrieked and I was like, oh my God, the Tokyo Tower. We have a view of the Tokyo Tower. Uh, let me do a quick outfit of the day. It's very simple. Um, this is my Loewe tank top, my Ray jeans. I really love these. I picked them up just before coming to Japan and they're really nice. They're like a baggy low rise, but I wear them more mid rise. Um, pair of jeans and then I'm gonna wear my Adidas Sambas and maybe take a bag. Just a really casual, comfy outfit to go shopping in. There's no wish list or waiting list with the bags. So you basically just go in and ask for a bag and yeah. they'll tell you what they have. So I walked in and I asked for like the non wishless uh, wish list bags. So like a pick a tin, um, just to see kind of the vibe. And she was like, no, but we have um, this black Kelly crocodile bag. There's a Kelly 32 crocodile bag, um, but someone else is in front of you viewing it, but you can be next. And I was like, wait, what? A black Kelly crocodile? <laughs> like, how is she just offering this bag? Like, this is supposed to be like a super, like in other countries like Europe, this bag only really gets offered to VIP clients or if you're super lucky. But she's just casually like, yeah, you can view this Kelly crocodile. Anyway, we sat down and waited and we saw the Kelly crocodile, the people in front of us were viewing it at a table. It was a black crocodile, Kelly 32 with gold hardware. Um, but they bought it, so we were yeah. sitting there waiting and they bought it. But I was just in shock. I mean, to be honest, even if we went to see it, I wouldn't have bought it anyway. But I was just like, I wanted to kind of see if it was true. But yeah, and then they came and told us, oh, sorry, you can't um, buy the bag because someone else has bought it. So I was like, oh, okay. So there's no like wish list or 
waiting list. Waiting list, and he was like, no, there's no waiting list or wish. You just go in and ask. I was like, so if I come in a couple of days, you'll have new stock and I can ask. He was like, yeah. I'm in shock right now because why has no one ever spoken about this? The fact that there's no waiting list or wish list in Japan. Because I feel like everyone always talks about Paris. But Paris doesn't even work most of the time, so you can't even get the appointment to go to the store. Yeah. So yeah. I guess you guys might see it um, as unboxing on this trip. Oh. Uh. Look at the Hello Kitty. So cute. Everything here is just so cute. What's this? So it's like a bath bomb. You put it in the bath and then you get like a little character. But there's four, I think, to collect. Oh. It's like a little cute Hello Kitty. Look, how cute is that? We're sold. We're gonna get that Should candy floss. Yep. Yeah. That is massive. Yeah, that is too big. That's bigger than your head. <laughs> she started. It's actually really good. Mm. And there's nothing stopping her now. So the pink. Mm. <laughs> what does that taste like? Sugar? Mm -hmm. But it's actually different flavors. Wow. And the texture is very like fluff. Yeah, pink. Wait, have I got some fluff on my face? <laughs> it feels like. You know when you put like a jumper on? It's nice, isn't it? Mm. It's like actually flavoured. Look! No, these plasters oh, are so cute. Those plasters are really Stop. cute. Stop. I want to get them just for the sake of having cute plasters. <laughs> no, but this Anna, this little the cat is just so cute with the banana. No, how cute. Even you admit that this is so cute. Yeah, I agree. Mofu scent. I need to Google this. Because mm. keep, we keep seeing this cat and me and Drew love it. I think Nuri's found her new obsession. Oh, and they have more stickers, guys. This is my new, so basically from that shop I googled the name and I found out so I went on the Instagram It's called Mofu Sand Yeah it's called Mofu Sand Look this is Instagram um, Juno Kitten Illustrator Illustrator who wants to send kitty love and literally after doing that shop I was like we need to find all the Mofu Sand stuff and I found it and guys I think I have to get I have to get something I'm gonna get it for my sisters and under the disguise of it's for me, but like, how cute are they? True saw someone eating this and was like, we need this. Can we find it? It looks so good. Is it good? So much better than crisp. Yeah, it's really, it's like a mix of crisp and a chip.
It's not paper, but it looks so much like paper. I thought it was so realistic. I have no plush soft toys like these, but there's so many. Oh, look at that. You put your finger in there. Oh my god, wait, wait, wait. Is that satisfying? Oh, it sucks on it. Wait, that's so weird. Look, leave it, leave it. What is it? It sucks on the finger. It does. What? Comfort, I think. It mm. feels like something like a baby biting my finger. How beautiful is that top? I might try it on. I think that's the same one as that it's one. 59,400. This is the top. I think it's super cool. Um, these jeans aren't really great for what I've been trying on today. I feel like you can't really see because of the black contrast. This is Pep himself, so it's sheer. So I've got this nude skims bralette on underneath but i think what would look really cool would be the triangle like a black triangle bralette or you could do a pop of color if you wanted but this i'd start with like a black triangle bralette and then it like kind of flares out so i've tried on the cardigan with this skirt which is really cool got this high-waisted skirt that goes down and then it's sheer like this sheer material i just don't know where i'd wear this I feel like it's really cool the shape is really cool and fun but i'm not sure why i'd wear this finally arrived. It looks good, it's a Wagyu burger. Oh, look at those tomatoes, they're so green. Ooh. That looks so good. And those chips look really nice. We also got some ricotta pancakes. Guys, look at this. There's some, can you like turn this around? Look at this banana and here. Banana is one of my favorite toppings for pancakes. Look at that. It's so good. It's literally in the middle of nowhere and yeah there's nothing else around here there's nothing else around here but yeah i think come earlier it's for it's 4 p.m now 
and it's sold out so I reckon you'd have to come in the morning to get access to them. Yeah. <laughs> We are back in the room. As you can see, we've got the train back home. And basically, I have a little story for you guys. Is it a story? In Kyoto, I had a egg sandwich from 7-Eleven and it was the best egg sandwich I'd ever had. Like, I was in love with it. Um, and I've heard before coming here that in Japan, like the 7-Elevens, the family marts, the convenience stores, the foods are really fresh. Um, but I was so surprised at how tasty that egg sandwich was. And after having that, like literally the next day I wanted another one, but obviously I wanted to have other food, so I didn't. And then yesterday night on TikTok, I saw this person who did like a taste test in three different stores. So they did 7-Eleven, Family Mart, and another one that I don't remember the name of. And apparently Family Mart was the best egg sandwich. So on the way back home in the train station, we saw a Family Mart and Look what I picked up, an egg sandwich, which apparently is supposed to be the best egg sandwich out of the three she tested. And if I really loved the 7-Eleven, I think I'm gonna really love this. So let's do a taste test. I could have this every day. Yeah, this is the best part. Mm. It's the eggs so actually taste like egg. Like, yeah. In a good way. It's so creamy. Mm, it's really good. Eggy. It's the best thing ever. Okay, I'm gonna go on the side and eat this. Treat you. Oh, also, another thing that we've been really enjoying is this straight tea. It's called straight tea, and it's very nice it's like um i don't know what tea it actually is but it has kind of like a really light rosy taste in my opinion that's what i taste and it's a very lightly sweetened so it's not like a sweet drink but it's a little hint of sweetness to it um which yeah we've been really drink okay i'm gonna sit in the corner and eat this now i went through to do a taste test of this protein bar he got all right guys basically in japan like there's not a lot of protein going around like um, yeah, really? so far we haven't been eating a lot of protein no, the, the portion sizing is very small, so you don't get enough protein. So I just picked myself a protein bar. I think it's a protein bar because um, it says 27 grams. I'm assuming that's seven, uh, 27 grams of protein. I don't know what flavor this is. Looks like peanut butter. Looks like those sesame snacks. Mmm. Mmm. This is really good. It's like a biscuit. It looks like a biscuit. This is a crunch as protein. But what if it's like, um, you know, in the uh, Mean Girls, it's like a weight gaining bar. It's actually the gaining mm -hmm. It's like very crunchy, rice crispy texture. What do you rate out of 10? 9. What do you rate the sandwich out of 10? Egg sandwich. Egg sandwich 10 out of 10. Yeah, it's 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. You're going to eat this? Um, I'll probably go out for dinner in a bit. It would feel like it. No. We're right. really
okay, come out tray. I love this for summer. But you didn't want to try this on. I had to really persuade Tru to try this on. Oh, you can fix that. But that's really cool. I like it. It's a really nice casual. I was actually looking for a wrapper and shirt for my mum. She's been really wanting like a striped one. Um, this is really nice. Even with jeans, it looks really cool. Do you know how this is bringing back so that's actually quite cool the fit is nice also it looks like a heart kind of that jacket is actually pretty cool but not together true I, I think the jacket is cool though yeah i think that is a cool jacket though it looks really cool We're going to um, a coffee and donut place. Yeah. It's just going to rain all day, so today is like a shopping day. Yeah, mainly indoors. Yeah. Chill. Do you take a taxi? No, I'm good. I want to walk. Yeah. See, guys, Trues the one who wants to take a taxi, not me. Walking in the rain is kind of like a romantic. Yeah, it is, especially in Tokyo. <laughs> So tonic, and cinnamon sugar, which they literally just made now, and then uh, honey mascarpone. 